Hey everybody, this week we're going to be talking about one of the most common things that I get emails about and that's the peep sight that won't align when you put, draw your bow back. I'm going to show you guys the reasons that this usually happens to the peep and I'm also going to show you how to fix those problems. And I've also got a kind of a bonus thing that I want to show you guys. It's, it's a tip, kind of a tip. It's actually a new thing that I found. It's a, it's a smartphone app. So if you guys out there got smartphones, you, I found this app that is absolutely awesome if you hunt. But right now, let's get right into the peep sight fix, and I'll show you guys that. You know, sometimes your peep sight can get out of alignment. Um, if, if you've had your bow set up and your peep sight's always lined up and everything's fine, then suddenly it turns. Well, you may want to check the age of your string because sometimes weakening strings can stretch and cause the peep sight to turn. Also, another thing is, is you may want to think about how you carry your bow. I've seen some guys that'll carry it by the string or right around where the D-loop is because that's generally centered. It balances good there. Well, that's a bad thing to do because it'll actually, it can actually turn your loop. And it doesn't take much to get your peep sight out of whack because it's pretty precise how it has to turn anyway, you know? Well, if this happens, first thing you need to do is to try to turn the D-loop the opposite way to get it lined back up with the peep sight. Another thing you can do too is you can twist them both the opposite direction to try to get them lined up. You know, that, that's, that's a, another quick fix. Okay, now say for instance, if, it, if, it, if it's never lined up, your bow's new and you didn't have time to settle in, the shop didn't set it up correctly, and it's not too late though. What you can do is, is if you've got silencers that are in the string, which most people go with that nowadays rather than the cat legs like these, well, or the cat whiskers, <laughs> the cat legs. Sorry about that, PETA. We don't want to use cat legs on here. By no means do I endorse the using of cat legs as bow silencers. Plus, it's hard to get them in the string. Anyhow, you, what you want to do is, is uh, take that leech or that bow jack or whatever type of silencer you have. You can either slide it up or down in the strands. It shouldn't be tied in. There's no point in tying it in. It's held in with pressure. But if you slide it up or down, that'll also turn the peep sight and help it line up to your eye when you draw the bow. Now, one of the things that you can also do is you can put it in a press and you can actually take a half a twist in or out. Don't do any more than that because you'll start to alter the length of your string and your let off's going to be messed up. Your draw length can change. Your bow won't function the way it's supposed to. That's my last resort. I usually start by doing the training method, like I told you before at the beginning, and then go to the, to the bow press if I have no other alternatives to get it fixed. Okay. Well, that's pretty simple, <laughs> kind of cut and dry. You know, if you're out there and your peep sight won't line up, never be afraid to give it a good twist back and forth there to get that thing lined up. It's not that big a deal. And uh, like I say, always say, if you can't get it fixed and it's broke anyway, it's no worse off. You know, you just have to try. And you'll learn some stuff. So it'll make you a better hunter and a better shot. Okay, I'm really excited to show you guys this next app that I found. I found a phone app. It's so cool. Let's check it out and I think you're gonna be really impressed. Okay, you know, I thought about taking this outside and doing the app thing, but you guys would be like, oh man, Kenny did some Photoshop trick thing and, and, and he's actually just Photoshopped himself right out of the picture. Well, I'm gonna do it inside the building because this camouflage, it's, it's called phone camo, first, first off. It's not available on iPhone yet, Psh, who cares? I got an Android, it's available on there for free. They said the version for iPhone, I believe, is going to be like $1,500. I don't know. But if you can afford an iPhone, you can afford a $1,500 app anyway, I think. So anyway, <laughs> sorry about that, iPhone guys. This is called Phone Camo. It'll work with any environment, no matter if you're in the snow, the desert, the trees, no matter what kind of trees, whether the leaves are changing, whether you're inside a room like I'm inside my shop. And I'm going to show you. What, it'll, what it does is it actually takes what's behind you reflects it onto the front of you. You just have to have a phone in your pocket for it to do that. You could be wearing any type of clothing, no special clothing required, just a smartphone. Um, I'm gonna show you, I got some blue jeans on, I got a camo shirt, and it even works on camo. It's gonna really freak you out. So you just open the app up, and then you press initiate, and then you stand back, and you let it happen. Well, how about that? I told you it was an awesome app. Man, I can't wait to try this on the deer. You know, next year, they said, they're even coming out with a scent eliminating version of it. Dude, I will pay $1,500 for that. 
Hey, until next time, you guys stay tuned. I'm Kenny Parson, the Bowman. See you.